Well, I'm at the stoplight, as we can see. Let's see if the thing actually records. Uh, I'm on the scooter. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to come out. But uh, you live and you learn. Okay, we've got the green arrow to the left, so everyone's on the left is going. I'm gonna fix my mirrors. There we go. I can see some of the wrong thing. Accelerate is a little tricky once you have to get the, still have to get the hang of it. But first major street down. Next stop is Corinthian. Cars are going around me alright. I left my place around 3 o'clock in the evening. Uh, in the afternoon, we'll see what time I get to my place at, my house, my uh, parents' house. Right now I'm doing the uh, speed I'm comfortable at, seems okay. The seat's a little hard, but uh, it's what's to be expected. Uh, <laughs> The new seat hasn't come in yet. I've got the one, the old one fixed up. It's sufficient. It does the job, but it's still not as comfortable as the one I'm going to be getting. So uh, that's a factor. I brought my charger and everything with me. So now we're going uphill. It's not maintaining the speed as well as it did before. Okay, now it's doing better. I added the second motor, and I've got two motors on here. I can do. Uh, one for when I'm just coasting, and two for when I'm uphill. So uphill gives me uh, two motors, gives me a better uh, a, a better climb rate. So uh, I still have to get used to some of the bumps on the road, <laughs> but uh, for the first time biking in almost 20 years, uh, not bad. It is a matter of gripping the handlebars and getting everything sort of uh, accustomed to everything. So that's kind of where things are. I'm not going to turn you off until I get to uh, a major stopping point, and then I'll turn you off from there and see, see how it ends up, you know, turning out. But again, I won't know until uh, I'm at my place. I can take a look at the GoPro and sort of see what's, what's happening. It does kill the butt. That's what the problem with the seat is. It's, it's too hard on the butt. And you feel, whenever you go over a bump or something like that, you can feel everything. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, turn too much to avoid the bump. But uh, right now I'm going at a sufficient speed. I'm happy with what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put it too much. Eyes on the road, pay attention with my hands with what I'm doing. So you're getting the first experience. And who knows if we can do a little elbow as well, we can be doing it more. Because this is part of the vlog now. I don't need the two motors, I can turn the two motors off. 
I uh, have on the single motor now, and the pickup is much smoother. I only need the second motor when I'm on uh, an up -tilt. So far, so good. with the progress. I have no idea how fast I'm going right now. Uh, I can't really see the speedometer. That's the only drawback. If you're in daylight, you can't see the speedometer. Uh, it just doesn't have uh, the brightness uh, needed to sort of uh, be seen during the daylight. So you really don't know how fast you're going. But given the fact that the car is a passion, uh, tells me that uh, uh, I am not doing the speed limit. So I'm probably, well, probably doing about 15, uh, 20 kilometers. I can sort of check my, uh, I can check my, uh, uh, my, uh, my motor device when I get back to my boat. And sort of see how long it took me to get from there, from here to uh, there. Uh, pick up kilometers and then uh, uh, do the calculation at the average speed I was doing. But this is faster than walking anyway. I'm better than some butt there if you want to get back and get to my place. Nice soft couches and stuff like that. Uh, I've been doing the couch jockey thing too much. We're going to run close to the red light here. I might make it there in time to see if it will be but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I'm out. We have the other green. So, uh, we're going to keep going. We have another one coming up in just about, uh, not even two minutes. Now, some guy honked at me. Well, it's 11.41 uh, on the 15th of September. I almost said October, but... And I've been back for about... Uh, an hour and a half. I got back around... Uh, well, no, about, about, an, about an hour. I got back around 10.30. Did my first road trip with the scooter. Uh, it wasn't anywhere special. just to my parents' house and back. But still an experience. Uh, <laughs> it was a daunting experience to be going 20 kilometers an hour on the scooter. Uh, <laughs> say that. It takes a while to get used to the balance. It takes, uh, it takes a while to get used to the different bumps in the road that shake and jiggle your handlebar. Um, it handles the road fine. There are no real issues with the road in terms of how, how how it holds the road. This scooter is one of the more is one of the heavier scooters. I would say it weighs anywhere between um, eighty and ninety pounds. It's about uh, mm, just about forty kilos. Low, well, we shouldn't weigh things in kilos because kilos is a measure of mass. It's not a measure of it's not a measure of weight. Weight is a measure of force, and so you'd either be talking about pounds, or you should be talking about, in, 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 if you talk about the, the scientific system, you're talking about uh, newtons, because you're talking about units of you talking about units of force. Weight is is the amount of force pulling down on a particular object, but on a particular mass uh, on Earth. That's what our understanding of weight is. It's a gravitational force issue, not necessarily. 
an issue of mass. Mass plays into it because well, for, force is equal to mass times acceleration. We have a fixed acceleration of uh, g on Earth because that's the acceleration due to gravity. And the only thing that's variable is the mass, the mass of the object. So, but I think it's at, at uh, 20 kilometers an hour, there, there's a bit of a stability issue, uh, simply because I'm not used to the bike, the the, the the scooter. Once I get used to the scooter, once I get used to the accelerator, uh, and I get do I have to do some adjustment to the brake, to the brakes, uh, then things should be better. Uh, I'm gonna have to wear gloves. Because uh, coming back at night in the evening, it's uh, too cold, the wind is too cold on my hands, and it numbs the hands up, and it, turn, it, it, it makes it, when the hands are not cold and numb, it makes it more difficult to do uh, what's called the micro-motor movements, which is needed for the, for the control and balance of the, of the scooter, and so, uh, but it handles hills fine, uh, uh, I found, I said, I, I had a good, uh, for me, a good enough speed, uh, by car, from door to door, it takes me about 15 minutes to get uh, to my parents' place. This takes me 20 minutes. So, um, basically five minutes off the mark, if you will. So, all in all, a very, very good experience. I'm very, very happy with uh, the way things have turned out. So, uh, I think I'll leave that here for now, because right now I'm just doing some gaming. I have just a little over two minutes until uh, one of my forces strike an object that uh, on the game here that uh, will give me some rewards. So I do have some time to kill. I haven't gotten to the YouTube stroll yet today, although I intend to get to the get, get there. Uh, have something to eat from the uh, Kauai, uh, the Kauai tea, uh, Kauai, uh tea house. That's my kitchen. Is the Kauai, is the Kauai tea house. Now I've got a small setup here in in, in, in the and in the media room uh, research desk, uh, where I can sit back and relax. And because there is when you when, when you're on the road, there is a bit of stress. You have to keep your mind focused on the road. And then my problem is that my mind tends to wander. And where I haven't been driving for so long, it's hard to bring your mind back into focus so that you keep your your mind on the road. And on your driving, rather than sort of letting it drift off all over the place, particularly because, well, in a car you're you're, you're more confined; you don't see the road as much. Uh, in a scooter, on a scooter, you see everything around you. You see the road come by. You ha have that almost immediate experience with the scooter that you don't have with cars. It's about three o'clock in the morning on I think it's the fifteenth of September. I think the time has uh, shifted forward. Yes, yeah, Tuesday, September fifteenth. <laughs> we started. We ended the. Well, I can't remember when. We, I can't remember when we ended the vlog yesterday. I know it was like a 1.30 something. I, I finished early because I wanted to shift my time uh, so I could do the road trip. And while well, I've done the road trip, and I know it takes me 20 minutes so I can leave, I can reshift my time back again so I can leave uh, from my parents' place around 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, and that's a better time frame for me, actually. But uh, the, the, the ride actually has left me a little tired. You feel every single bump in the road, and you have to. It, it, part of the problem is you have to hold on to the handlebars. Uh, and I was, I think I've been doing. I was doing uh, on average. I was doing about twenty kilometers an hour. And uh, did okay, but there it, it was. A fair amount of vibration in the bike that sort of just went through the whole uh, through the scooter that went through the whole body. Uh, it, it, it is a very rugged. I don't th I don't think other uh, sort of e-bikes or whatever could have handled the speed that I was doing. 
but it was nonetheless a very good ride, very comfortable ride in terms of uh, uh, the length of time, but still uh, uh, the new seat should be coming in sometime this week. Uh, I just checked and I sort of seen that it's, it's arrived in Toronto. It's probably going to have to go through some processing and so I would say sometime this week or maybe next week uh, the, the seat should come in. And it'll probably take me another uh, couple of days. So I would say a week, week and a half, uh, the new seat will be on. It will have uh, a cushion on it. It will have like springs, better springs. than This one was supposed to have springs, but it doesn't have any springs on it. So there's no sort of shock absorption uh, uh, with the seat there. But uh, the one I have coming will have a good amount of shock absorption with the seat on it. So it should be pretty good. Uh, but now I sort of I've switched things, so, so I'm back again. I was supposed to go to bed earlier to take some time down, but I have, uh, just about 4 o'clock, I have uh, some gaming to do. So uh, I'll be starting the vlog again just in about an hour and a half, but an hour, hour and a half uh, after I do the gaming. Then from there... Uh, uh, I'll be taking a sleep break and sort of uh, won't be getting up again until like, like 8 o'clock in the morning, another four hours later. Uh, I have to let, get up and sort of uh, get, make preparations for deliveries because the deliveries are coming in today. But I was able, I was surprised I was able to do the YouTube stroll uh, very well. I'm getting the videos that I'm producing up on a regular basis. I'm doing the editing, getting it out and published. I have two places now. I have both. I have both Blogspot and um, WordPress for uh, uh, Cyborg Alpha TV networks, which is which is which is um, the main network that uh, the the uh, Cy our life of Cyborg Alpha is being produced on. So it's it's doing a very good job. In terms of uh, our discussion today, and this is what we sort of put into almost every video, is the Yowie Vlogs talk, the discussion about different things. Because uh, they, they always have the ending, the last minute or so of the vlog, uh, something to do with uh, self-worth, self-value, and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, I was talking to my dad today and saying how that we're living in a generation that is so, uh, cent uh, so fundamentally self-focused. That the 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 level of selflessness is is not there the way it should be, and the thing is is that well yes in some cases and this is what he was talking about he was talking about anxieties, anxieties can be can be expectations that we've set too high, and end up missing. Uh, that's where a lot of our anxieties do, do come from. That does is a form form of anxiety. But in terms of anticipation, but there's also anxiety from fear. A guy today, I, I, I it, there was a bit of there, there was a good part of me that, that that said I'm not going to do this because I I haven't written written uh, you know on two wheels in, in a long time. So I said okay, well let's just go through this slowly. And I said we'll take it street by street, and if I need to stop, I'll stop. I you know, take a bit of a break, but I was able to do it street by street, and, and I got the hang up so that when I was coming back, uh, the uh, I was able to handle higher speeds coming back than I was coming in, and it, it, it's just a matter of of getting over some of these fears that we have, uh, and not being reckless about it, but just sort of t tackling a problem, some of our fears bit by bit and not allowing the fear to sort of overwhelm us and uh, take us into uh, directions that are not necessarily healthy in terms of overall mental health. So anyways, uh, and again, it, it's not, it, if you look at it, it's not an issue of self-worth or not. It's, it, it's simply an issue that uh, these are things that you have to deal with. These are different emotions that you have to deal with. And it's not necessarily a, a qualifier or a, an argument that says what your self-worth is. So again, it's, it, it, it doesn't matter what you're worth, uh, no refunds. That's the ending part of it.